This is episode one of a brand new series of videos reviewing inspired by fragrances from the Essence Vault. The uh, cost of living is sky high at the moment with food prices uh, doubling and energy prices going through the roof. So I'd imagine that dropping £200 plus on an expensive niche fragrance isn't that high on uh, a lot of people's priority list at the moment. And that's why these are absolutely great for anyone who uh, likes to smell fantastic without emptying their bank balance. I have already produced three or four mini haul videos uh, from the Essence Vault so please um, feel free to go and check those out they're on the home page of my channel in a, a dedicated playlist but in this particular series I'll be taking a more in-depth uh, look at each individual fragrance and over the next month or two my aim is to cover most if not all of the products uh, that are available at the Essence Vault including the women's perfumes and even some of the home fragrancing products but today I'm focusing my attention on number 444 which is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. So to find out all about this one and if it's any good stay tuned to Mugs Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to part one of this special Essence Vault series of reviews from Mags Frags. My name's Paul and today's featured scent is Essence Vault number 444, uh, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It's a unisex gourmand fragrance and to anyone who's just getting into fragrances or you've just stumbled across my channel for the first time, the term gourmand actually means that it's, it smells like something that you'd want to eat or drink. The original Lost Cherry sells for around about £225 for just a 50ml bottle size uh, but I picked this 100ml bottle size up for around about £15 because I purchased it using one of the Essence Vault's uh, multi-buy deals and then I used my own unique 20% discount code on top so I ended up paying around about £45 for three 100ml bottle sizes uh, which makes them the uh, least expensive coffee fragrances that I've personally come across. So if you want to pick up a, a bottle of this to try out for yourself or any other fragrance from the Essence Vault uh, library, uh, you'll, you'll get a 20% uh, discount if you use my uh, unique code at the checkout, which is just my name, uh, Paul, and you'll get 20% off your order site-wide all year round. Uh, but at the time of recording this video, there is actually a code that gives you a massive 30% discount, uh, which is thank you 30 uh, But if that, would, if that code ever becomes uh, like invalid, uh, my code will remain active all year. They even do the occasional buy one and get one free deal from time to time so they're always good to uh, watch out for as well. The Essence Vault fragrances are all vegan friendly and they're cruelty free and they come with free shipping when you spend over £45. And I want to start this video by saying that um, this video is in no way sponsored by the Essence Vault and I'm not being paid to promote their products. I also paid for every fragrance that I'm going to talk about and review in this series with my own money uh, and none was sent to me for free so you can uh, trust that these are my own unbiased opinions. Okay, so the top notes in this one are cherry, bitter almond and cherry liqueur. Uh, the heart notes in this one are plum, Turkish rose and jasmine sandback. And the base notes in this one are tonka beans, peru balsam, sandalwood and cedar. Yeah, so this is a rich, full-bodied and indulgent fragrance and right from the first spray uh, you'll get a syrupy sweet cherry jam-like accord with a mild boozy cherry liqueur undertone. The bitter almond is a very prominent and important note in this fragrance because it produces like a, a candied cherry aroma and it's a, a lovely sweet and mellow note with an addictive quality that makes you kind of want to just keep going in for a sniff uh, and it is very addictive. The cherry liqueur adds a, a touch of booziness to the base, uh, which balance just, it just balances everything out and it stops it from becoming too sickly sweet and maybe a bit too juvenile, although it is still a, a very sweet fragrance. Uh, in the base there's some mild smooth woodiness, but not enough for it ever to kind of lean more masculine. It's an out and out uh, cherry dessert, a cherry bomb and uh, a very delicious one at that and you're definitely going to want to uh, take a bite out of yourself once you've sprayed it on your skin. Uh, the Lost Cherry uh, DNA is loved by women and I'd say it's also a, a bit of a guilty pleasure for lots of men out there also. 
It does smell great and the Essence Vault version that I've got here does a really great job at replicating the character of Lost Cherry. But as is the case with uh, most inspired by and copy fragrances, you do get lots of perfume as alcohol for the first few seconds after you initially spray it. So the key is not to go straight, uh, straight in for a really close sniff otherwise you'll just get a nose full of alcohol you'll go nose blind won't be able to smell the scent for half an hour and then you'll probably leave me a comment in the comment section saying paul this fragrance is a, is a load of rubbish and it smells nothing like the original um, so definitely don't go in straight away uh, with copy fragrances so a top tip for you and what i do is i spray it on the back of each just each hand and i just forget about it i don't go anywhere near where i've just sprayed it and i just let the scent come and find me then after about 10 minutes or so I start to like just get really nice wafts of it uh, and then I just kind of know it's a bit more safe to go in for a, a slightly closer sniff uh, but I understand how tempting it is to just go to spray it and then just go straight in for a sniff after five seconds uh, but trust me that's only going to disrupt your senses and it'll ruin your experience so just spray it keep it keep your arms away from your face and just forget about it uh, and that's uh, how to best enjoy fragrances uh, that are inspired by or copies or clothes Bones. Yeah, I'd say this is best suited to the cooler months of the year, uh, but you could get away with wearing it in the springtime too. Uh, but it's just a, a bit too dense and sweet to pull off on hot sunny days during the summer months. I would tend to reach for this for more casual everyday situations rather than dressed up evening events uh, but I guess you could wear it dressed up and to be fair it's, uh, it's actually a pretty versatile scent that will cover you for most situations. Uh, I think you're, you're probably going to be more likely to smell this one coming off a woman uh, but I don't think the smell leans feminine anyway but I just guess the, uh, the cherry notes will scare a few alpha males off. Yeah, this is a full EDP concentration, so it is really long lasting with a, a moderate to decent projection. This is actually my second bottle of this uh, Essence Vault version because my mum claimed my first bottle and every time she wears it I can always smell it projecting from her uh, and I'd even say that this projects a little bit more than the original which I find sits fairly close to the skin. You're going you're gonna to get a couple of hours where people will be able to detect this on you from about six feet away. Uh, but then it comes a bit, becomes like a bit more of a, an intimate skin scent and one that the, uh, the wearer will enjoy. Uh, so it's definitely uh, a safe, safe uh, blind buy to wear as a, an office fragrance. But like I said earlier, if, uh, if you want to test its projection, a couple of sprays on the back of each hand and just keep them well away from your face for about 10 or 15 minutes or so. And then you'll know whether, it, whether you're getting kind of an arm's length projection. The performance uh, does improve once you've um, left it to macerate as well on a shelf for a few weeks and I've personally noticed uh, a, a big improvement in some of the fragrances that I've had uh, for a while just like sat on the shelf compared to, to the first day that they arrived. Yeah, I personally really enjoy this scent DNA and I think the Essence Vault have done a really great job with it. It's very accurate to the original and I've had uh, plenty of people come up to me and ask me if I'm wearing Lost Cherry whenever I've worn it. Uh, and like I've just mentioned, I never fail to pick it up on my mum whenever she wears it and she gets into my car and I can instantly uh, detect it on her. So anyone who says it doesn't project or it doesn't smell anything like the original is talking a bit of nonsense. It's probably not a one-to-one -one clone and there might be uh, very slight differences if you were to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, but I like to think that I've got a pretty decent uh, sense of smell and smelling this in the air right now, uh, I'm getting nothing different to what I'd get from the original. The packaging uh, on the Essence Vault products are fairly rudimentary and fairly basic uh, and you don't get the, the fancy red juice and the fancy bottle uh, and you will have to probably label these up yourself so you can identify uh, what each one is uh, like meant to be inspired by uh, because when you've got a few it's uh, very easy to forget what each one is uh, just by the numbers that are on the front. 
there are people in the fragrance community that really hate inspired by fragrances which is fair enough uh, and I'd always say that if you've uh, got the finances to be able to fund uh, your favorite scents yourself uh, then you are going to get a slightly better blend quality like most of the time uh, with better ingredients and also like better uh, packaging but these are absolutely great for anyone who's on a, a tight budget uh, like especially in these uh, tough times that we're in at the moment yeah, so that's about it for this first episode of this brand new series. Uh, but there'll be loads more from the Essence Vault coming up uh, pretty thick and fast from now on. And in the next one, I'm uh, taking a look at number 499, which is inspired by Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Uh, and also, if you have uh, enjoyed this, uh, this video, then please don't forget to give it a, a cheeky like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. And that way you can be notified whenever I upload any new content so you can join me again around my uh, kitchen table for some more fragrance chatter uh, so once again thank you very much for tuning into this episode stay safe keep smelling fresh and i'll see you very soon for another one bye bye for now